Let's look at some more complicated integration problems. Now we're going to need integration by substitution to do these problems. If you look at this integral, integral of cosine x squared times 2x, you notice that first of all, x squared right here is inside cosine. So we have sort of a nested chain here. And to undo that substitution is one really good way of doing that, especially since we have the derivative of the inside of cosine x squared right here to the right. And so remember that to do substitution, we need to figure out what u is equal to. And that's usually the inside of the chain, quote unquote, that we have right here, that would be x squared. So in terms of the regular derivative chain rule, u would be sort of g of x. And so now if u is x squared, then we have du dx is 2x. And so if we kind of just cross multiply this and divide, we'll have dx is du over 2x. So now we have the integral of cosine x squared becomes u times 2x. And now dx, because x is no longer our variable, we want to turn that into du. We use this little expression we had here. dx would be du over 2x. The 2x's cancel out. This is equal to the integral of cosine u du. And since u is our variable, that's simply sine u plus c. And since u was x squared, this is sine of x squared plus c. And remember that you can always check your answer by taking the derivative of the antiderivative and see if you get the original integrand back. If you take the derivative of this, you'll need the chain rule. Sine of x squared becomes cosine of x squared times derivative of x squared 2x plus c goes away. So this is in fact our answer. Let's move to the next one. Here, instead of having a trig function, we have a sort of a polynomial chain here. We have x squared plus 4x. That's inside x to the 6. And its derivative is right here, 2x plus 4. So it's easy to see that we want to let u be equal to x squared plus 4x. And so du dx is equal to 2x plus 4, and so dx is du over 2x plus 4. In case you haven't noticed yet, dx is always du divided by the derivative of u. So if you don't want to do all this work and you just want to memorize that formula, that also works. So now our integral becomes integral of u to the 6. 2x plus 4, remember you don't want to actually write anything that isn't clearly u as u because you want to see whether or not they cancel out. And in most cases, they do. So this is integral of u to the 6 du. Using the power rule, that would be u to the 7th over 7 plus c. And remember that u, let's go back here, it's x squared, plus, x squared plus 4x. So this is x squared plus 4x to 7 over 7 plus c. Once again, if you want to check your answer, take the derivative of your answer, and you'll get the original integrand, which is this x squared plus 4x to the 6 times 2x plus 4 back.